Hey everyone, this is Knowledge Topper and in this video we will understand the main key differences between red blood cells and white blood cells. Uh, but before moving towards our today's video, if you didn't subscribe to our channel Knowledge Shopper yet, please do subscribe to our channel Knowledge Shopper as well as like our Facebook page and do join our Facebook group as well where you find a lot of good material related to these topics as well as from other courses as well. So let's get into our today's video. Uh, basically we have uh, I think uh, 17 basis for comparison. Okay, so let's get into this video. As written on your screen, the first basis for comparison is uh, the other name. Uh, talking about the red blood cells, it is also called uh, erythrocytes, okay? And uh, talking about the white blood cells, it is also called leukocytes. Uh, the second basis for comparison is the origin. And uh, basically red blood cells, they are produced in red bone marrow. And talking about the white blood cells, they are produced in lymph nodes, spleen, etc. Uh, mostly uh, in bone marrow okay then we talk about uh, our third basis for comparison which is which is nucleus okay uh, in red blood cells nucleus is absent and uh, talking about the white blood cells nucleus is present okay uh, the fourth basis for comparison is the size uh, normally red blood cells are smaller than white blood cells and uh, talking about the white blood cells, they are larger than red blood cells. Uh, talking about the color, uh, red blood cells basically filled with hemoglobin and they are reddish in color. And talking about the white blood cells, they are colorless and they, they don't have, they basically have no pigment, okay. Talking about our sixth basis for comparison, which is the production. Uh, approximately uh, 2 million uh, red blood cells per second uh, uh, is produced okay in human body and talking about the white blood cells uh, basically fewer uh, white blood cells uh, is produced than red blood cells okay uh, then talking about uh, the seventh basis for comparison which is the life span red blood cells have an average lifespan of 120 days and talking about the white blood cells they live anywhere from a few days, okay, like uh, in between to 5 to uh, 21 days. Uh, then if we move forward, our eight basis, eight basis for comparison is the number. Uh, talking about the red blood cells, like 5 million red blood cells in every cubic millimeter of blood is present. And talking about the white blood cells, uh, there are 3,000 to 7,000 white blood cells in every cubic meter of blood. Talking about the uh, ninth uh, basis for comparison, which is number increments. Uh, in red blood cells, number increases during exercises in high altitudes. And talking about the white blood cells, the number increases during infection. Uh, our 10th basis for comparison is process of formation. Uh, in red blood cells, formation is called uh, erythropoiesis. And talking about the white blood cells, the formation is called leukopoiesis. Then we have our 11th basis for comparison, which is the shape. Uh, red blood cells are circular, biconca biconcave in shape. And talking about the white blood cells, they are rounded and um, amoeboid, irregular, okay, uh, in shape. Talking about the 12th basis for comparison, which is the motility, uh, red blood cells are non-motile, while uh, white blood cells are generally motile. Now talking about further related to our basis for comparison between red blood cells and white blood cells. So our 13th basis for comparison is the movement. Uh, red blood cells doesn't leave blood vessels, while uh, white blood cells come out of blood capillaries. Talking about our 14th basis for comparison, which is the Rolex formation. Uh, in red blood cells, they are formed stacks called Rolex. Okay. And uh, talking about the white blood cells, Rolex uh, formation absent in white blood cells. Talking about the types, uh, in red blood cells, there, there is only one type. And talking about uh, the white blood cells, there are five types. And, um, okay, if I can show you guys uh, those five types and their functions. So, these are the five types of white blood cells. The first one is neutrophils. And the function of neutrophils is to first respond 
to bacteria or a virus uh, in a human body. Then we have uh, uh, the second type, which is the uh, eosinophils. They are known for their role in allergic symptoms. Okay. Then we have the third type of white blood cells, which is the basophils. They are known for their role in asthma. And the fourth uh, type of white blood cells is the uh, lymphocytes, which is basically the main function for lymphocytes is the uh, is to fight infections by producing antibodies. Then we have uh, the fifth uh, type of white blood cells, which is the monocytes. They, their main function to clean up dead cells. Uh, back to our basis for comparison. So now our 16th basis for comparison is the circulatory system. Uh, talking about the red blood cells, uh, there is a cardiovascular system is uh, involved. Okay. And talking about the white blood cells, cardiovascular and lymphatic system is involved as part of the circulatory system. Uh, our last basis for comparison is very important and it is the function of both red blood cells and white blood cells. Talking about the red blood cells, uh, the main function is to transport uh, of respiratory gases, oxygen, carbon dioxide. While talking about uh, the function of white blood cells, uh, the main function is to defense mechanisms. Okay. So this is the video for all of you guys. Hope you clearly understand about uh, the main key differences between red blood cells and white blood cells. Uh, at last, I want to show you the picture of red blood cells and white blood cells. Okay. So as you can see, there is uh, the images for the red blood cells. As you can see, these red uh, cells, they are uh, like red blood cells. They are red blood cells indeed. And these are the white blood cells. Okay. And uh, this bluish thing is basically the platelets. And this is the blood vessel. So this is the video for all of you guys. Hope you clearly understand the main key differences between uh, red blood cells and white blood cells. If you like this video, thumbs up. Do subscribe to our channel, Knowledge Topper, as well as like our Facebook page. And uh, do join our Facebook group as well, where you find a lot of good material related to these topics as well as from other courses as well. So this is the video for all of you guys. Thank you so much everyone. It's time to say bye-bye.